What it do, YouTube? It's Ty Fatty with the Fatty. Back at y'all with another video, man. Y'all know why we're here. To handle business, but before we handle that business, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to say it again, bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to say it one more. Matter of fact, like, comment, subscribe. Before I got to beat you up, man, y'all know what's going on. We got Polo G Secret Gang War, 1300 versus OTE. I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited for this joint, bro. Polo G was one of my favorite rappers at one point, and I, I don't think I ever did a video on him, bro. Who they beefing, beefing with, whatever. I know he's from the north side of Chicago, but besides that, I don't really got no backstory, no information, no whatever. So let's tap in and see what's going on. Ew. In the middle of multi-million dollar condos in Chicago's north side, there's a war. I told you, I know a little some. Nearly 20 lives in the last 10 years. This destructive feud has claimed lives in crazy ways like one particular murder in 2018, but more on that later in the video. Many people might not know this, but Polo G reps a gang called 1300. Their beef with OTE is one of the oldest in the city. So old, in fact, the current active members don't even know how it began, which is wild. The two gangs occupy two infamous projects which because of gentrification are surrounded by some of the most expensive property in Chicago. Cabrini Greens is home to OTE, while 1300 reside in the Marshall Field Gardens. Cabrini Greens is one of the oldest and most dangerous hoods in Chicago. The original high-rise red brick buildings were built all the way back in the 50s. Polo G and Finer Things references how long the two gangs have been at war by saying they've basically been into it since those apartments were built. For generations, which my side of town been drilling. We've been at war ever since the red buildings. It's Before O Block, Cabrini Greens was definitely the most famous block in the Windy City, with multiple documentaries being made about it. Residents in the 90s described snipers placed on rooftops and shootings were a daily occurrence. Most of the original buildings were knocked down in the early 2000s to try to lower the violence there. But what remains is still a breeding ground for gangster disciples that rep the set OTE or only the end. 1300's territory and where Polo grew up is Marshall Field Gardens, another project that is only five minutes away from Cabrini Greens. For this video, I'll only be looking at murders that took place in the last 10 years. This is because it's nearly impossible to accurately discuss deaths from 25 years ago. Kill. Now it's time to get into the first murder. Let's boogie, you, man. The first death in the more recent part of the feud is that of Thana from 1300 in 2013. Thana was walking just down the road from Marshall Field Apartments with his friend to get diapers for his son. Sadly, he was spotted by OTE members. They began firing at Thana and he was struck multiple times. His friend was hit once in the head and miraculously survived. Damn. But Thana wasn't so lucky. Oh, so they was in two and two. It took for thirteen hundred to get their get back. A couple months after Thana's death, fifty from OTE was killed. It's rumored fifty and a thirteen hundred member were messing with the same girl. Allegedly, this is what led to his death. At four a.m. fifty was out in Cabrini Greens when someone from 1300 walked up on him. The 1300 member then opened fire, killing 50 and wounding a friend that was with him. Tim Tim or Gucci was a very popular member of 1300. He was actually a very gifted gymnast and a member of the Jesse White Tumblers. In 2014, Tim Tim what? allegedly <laughs> caught and beat up an OTE member named Q Ball. Bro, to be honest, bro, I think Chicago the only place where you could real life be beefing in the streets and respecting that you out this joint tumbling. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro, that's crazy. A tumbling team? But hey, they say he was one of them. Uh, that's just what I heard from the streets, the grapevine. You know, the streets talk. You gotta put your ear to them sometimes. But Shawty was tumbling. He was a tumbler. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Not long after Tim Tim was walking down no the cow. street in 1300 territory, when Cue Ball began following him on a bike. When he got up close, Cue Ball shot and killed Tim Tim. This was a very big loss for 1300, as he was so well liked. After his death, 1300 began going by Tim Tim Gang. He was also Polo G's best friend. And the G in Polo's name also stands for Gucci. Love Polo coming up. Always okay. used to tell my mama go grab that. And then the G, 
The G stands for uh, Gucci. That's for my uh, friend who passed away. Oh, that's cold now. Nah. Because Tim Tim was such a popular member of 1300, he gets dissed more than any other member of the gang. Killer was a big member of 1300. At 3.15 a.m., Killer was driving on the 400 block of West Evergreen Avenue. Suddenly, he began to get shot at by OTE affiliates in a nearby car. Killer was hit multiple times and crashed his car. He was sadly pronounced dead in Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Three OTE affiliates ended up getting charged with the murder. 1300 began calling themselves Killer Mob after his death. I'm from Evergreen, while hustlers post on corners like the sand. Killer Mob full of shooters, nigga, we ain't drop it down. Three they friends of an it. older 1300 what member the? were sitting in a car outside Mr. Giro's restaurant on 109 West Division Street. As they were talking, they were approached by Trap from OTE with five other guys. Trap and his friends walked up and tried to rob them. The 1300 member was in the restaurant, but when he saw what was happening came rushing out. He confronted the robbers before he reached into the car's glove compartment and pulled out a handgun. He then opened fire on the robbers, killing Trap. Edward and Edwin Bryan were a set of twins and members of 1300. The pair went by Ed and Lil Bit. They were very well liked by the younger generation of the gang. In the early hours of October 30th, the twins were walking along 1300's block. Unfortunately, that night, OTE members were out looking for 1300 members. A dark vehicle came speeding up and someone inside began shooting. Both twins were struck and killed. This murder is particularly tragic because Ed was an incredibly gifted basketball player. Polo G said the hood thought he was going to make it to the NBA. Polo G also often references the twins in songs. Too fast, I ain't had time to heal. Ed was gonna make it on that court, but he died in the field. I was me made the news he posted to be on ESPN. Came and left the same day. RP to the twins. Doctors said, know how my brothers was coming. Ball like I'm Ed and I'm shooting like Libby, and I'm just gonna do it like dirt when I'm stunned. Head, an OTE member, was driving in Chicago when he got spotted by some 1,300 members. The 1,300 guys began following him in their car. Head pulled to a stop at red lights, and 1,300 members in a sedan pulled in behind him. One of the guys in the sedan hopped out, walked up to Head's SUV, and shot him in the head through the window. Yeah, but he was shooting back. He checked from off a leg shot. But I know I always seen the traffic called a head shot. No, they and they into it now the murder of OTE, Damn. ote is the insane murder i was referencing at the start of the video there are very few details on this case but in 2018 odog left his house at 10 p.m not long after the 18 year old got kidnapped and killed by 1300 members his body was never found hold up 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 what not long after the 18 year old got kidnapped and killed by 1300 members his body was never found Man. just before 6 a.m. near the shell station on the 1600 block of North Sedgwick Tay and Co two 1300 members were driving in a red Buick OTE members spotted them and drove up beside them in an SUV. While the two cars were driving, an OTE member opened fire on the Buick. Both Tay and Co. were shot before their car crashed. The two men were sadly pronounced dead. Damn, Shawty, they real live with Bill Puda was a 15-year-old 1300 member. Puda, along with a 16-year-old friend, were walking through an alley off West Superior Street just after COVID restrictions were lifted. The pair suddenly began to get shot at by an OTE member. They were both hit, and sadly, Lil Puda died. 
2021 was an extremely bloody year for the feud, mainly because of the murder of B-Money. B-Money was Polo G's best friend. He spent most of his time out of Chicago with Polo. But in August 2021, he came back to 1300's block to celebrate his own and Tim Tim's birthday with the guys. In the middle of the day, he was sitting on a porch on the 3500 block of West 5th Avenue. Unfortunately, OTE guys got the drop on him. They drove to his location, hopped out, and began shooting. B-Money immediately started shooting back. He was hit in the leg, and his attackers began to flee. This leg shot would end up killing B-Money just two that days after crazy. his 20th birthday. Because B-Money was another very popular guy on the block, get back for him would be quick. If this is to be the end... After B-Money died, 1300 were looking for revenge. Spaz, an affiliate of OTE, had been dissing B-Money crazy. Only hours after his death, he hit the studio and recorded a song dissing him. Four days after B-Money's death, Spaz was driving when a car full of 1300 members pulled up beside him. Some of the 1300 guys then began shooting, killing Spaz. As you can imagine, 1300 went crazy with the dissing after Spaz Damn. died. Bro, they beefing hard. Was more get back for B-Money. She was a 16-year-old OTE member. In October of 2021, she was out partying. Sadly, someone dropped her location to 1,300 members. They went to the location and waited for her to come out. Once she got in the car she was traveling in, the 1,300 members boxed her car in and killed her. Damn, young. OTE got back only two weeks later, though. Turtle, an older 1,300 member with three kids, got set up by OTE. Turtle thought he was meeting a girl, but instead, OTE guys were waiting for him. They began to shoot him, and Turtle ran. But he was struck. Once he hit the floor, they ran up after him and shot him in the face. Sav, an OTE member, was sliding on 1300's block. Someone told the police he had upped a gun on them, and so the police tracked him down. They pursued him on foot while trying to tase him. In police footage, Sav can be seen jogging away. It's unclear in the footage, but according to CPD, Sav then fired at them before they shot and killed him. 1300 got the drop on where Turbo, an OTE member, worked. As he clocked out, a car full of 1300 members were waiting. Damn, Three of them, including a dude named Fat Fat, hopped out and began shooting Turbo. Turbo shot back, but was hit and killed. Crazily, Turbo's shots hit Fat Fat. Fat Fat was able to get back in the car, and the 1300 guys drove him to the hospital. Sadly, he died there too. This double homicide is the last Bruh. death in the feud to date. What it's sad the? to see all this poverty-based death when these hoods are surrounded by such riches. Bruh, they really was into it, bruh. Like, it's crazy because I never knew. Like, I knew, of course, you know. Polo G rap what he rap and like if he really was bluffing like a lot of people would come out and be like bro you capper but obviously he was somewhere where he's from and he didn't did stuff as a kid or whatever the case may be so shit it just I never seen it I seen it now though that's that was a whole lot of names bro especially for the hood to be five minutes away bro it probably was real life a war zone bro that's crazy bro but y'all know how I go with that being said man it's Ty Fatty with the Fatty man make sure y'all stay smart bro stay dangerous. I'm going to catch y'all next time, man. I'm gone.